All right, I'm shaking things up. I moved it all the way over here. Like, whoa, crazy type stuff. However, there's not enough of me in this video, is there? I know you're, you're thinking you need more of me. I don't blame you. All right, here we go. Here I am. Uh, normally I film right there. Now I'm here. Uh, and no, it's not because that's especially filthy or anything like that. All right. <clears throat> so uh, a nine weeks has ended. And because the nine weeks has ended, today is kind of a, uh, not a review. Ooh, no, we're moving on to other things. But I wanted to refresh a concept. So here we go. The note today says, we are a collection of our habits. Well, what does that mean? All right, so we are covering the outsiders. I would hold up a copy of the book and wave it around, but I don't know where I have a copy. Uh, oh, is this one? Hey, there we go. This copy is from like 1904 and the pages fall out. So... <clears throat> What I'm doing is kind of running a, a triangle here of real life, your life, and the outsiders. And I'm kind of making connections between all three. And I specify the difference between real life and their life, because if you're not experiencing things that happen in real life, well, it's not your life. So it's just, it's just real life. So I introduced the talk. <laughs> the topic today by saying we are a collection of our habits. What does that mean? All right, come in my room. What do you do? Grab your notebook, jot the uh, daily note down. Look over here. Is there a new vocab word? No, we're done. Yes, write down the new vocab word. Boom, now we're done. 15 seconds. You're out of here. Okay. I have three students that are failing right now. Guess what? Not one of the three takes down the note. Well, why not? It's about habits. If you won't set up the habit of jotting down a single note, you are going to be doomed when it comes to looking over vocab words because you don't have the vocab words. So when I tell you vocab quiz in a moment and everyone in the class is like, oh God, we all know all these words. Let's go over them for the 400th time and everyone gets a perfect score. Except that kid. Why doesn't that kid? Doesn't have the vocab words. Hasn't set up habits. Well, great job, teacher man. Why aren't you motivating this kid? Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I remind them every day and I'll specifically go up. Hey, did you get that note down? But I'm not going to confront them. I'm not going to get up in their business and do that. There. Was that intimidating enough? So... Okay, so that's their life. Well, how does how does this relate to real life and how does this relate to the outsiders? Okay, well, they're growing up in a pretty tough world. Uh, their parents aren't really involved. Uh, definitely some of, tales of abuse going on in this here. Some, some of us can relate. So today, what did I cover? All right, I covered... Uh, that because of our habits, we often learn those habits. I worded that wrong. Our habits, so let's rewind. Our habits are often created because of the people we run with. So if you are in the habit of working out, it's very likely that the group you run with, at least one or two of them, work out with you. Now, if I could pull it up uh, in things I did that were inappropriate so far today. Uh, one of the things I did is I put up a visual of a family. It was on Reddit, greatest website ever. Uh, but it was a family that's uh, headed off to court. And uh, they got all these anti, you know, anti the system hashtags. And they're holding up a little baggie of heroin. And they're all holding up needles. Now, perhaps they're diabetic, but but there's four of them in the video and they're all like happy and, you know, uh, screw the police. And, and I'm sure some people, why are you showing that to your students? Well, because first of all, for some of them, this is a world that they're familiar with. Uh, they've been to the store down here. Uh, they've been in the town nearby. Uh, Topeka's right I don't know, somewhere over that way. Uh, Lawrence is somewhere over that way. Kansas City is, I don't know where that is. Okay, you got me there. 
they're familiar with these people. They've seen them. They got to understand that they've seen them. But for my students, while it might not be their real life, on this one, they can connect to it. And I point out our three of those four people. That's your mom. That's your dad. That's your uncle and your uncle's girlfriend. You don't have anything to do with her. But those are three of your people. What habits are you learning? What habits are you developing? This is how I teach the outsiders. Because one of the keys about English that I want to get to my students is you can learn habits from our literature. You can learn what people do right and what people do wrong. And there are some right in here. There's some really good life lessons in here that we have to take to heart. And some people get up set when teachers you know it's my job to raise my kids really because it's never been solely a parent's job uh, that's why the greek myths exist the greek myths exist because they're telling you not to get too cocky uh this is why all these stories of king arthur uh and hammurabi and all these great heroes exist because they're giving us tools as to how to live our life Keeps with the tradition, hero's journey, even though this isn't really a hero's journey book, but we'll pretend. What habits are you learning from these three people? Probably not good. Well, what habits is Pony learning from his people? Well, from some of his people, he's learning good habits. From others, he's learning bad. We have to be aware of this. What, well, what do you want your students to do? Hmm. And I want them to see there's hope. I want them not to see their world and say, wow, yeah, I have some rough stuff going on. Therefore, I'm doomed. I want them to say, wow, I got some rough stuff going on. There's hope in here. Yeah. There's hope on YouTube. There's hope on Instagram. There's people who are accomplishing awesome things. And uh, as Sir Mixlot says, jump on it even though he wasn't the first. I like his version best. I'm sorry. Sugar Hill Gang, Apache. Don't like that as much. I'll go Sir mix -a Jump on it. Uh, so that's what the task was today. That's it. That's that. Bye. Oh. Okay, I can't find the stop sign. Is this it?